When it comes to cocktails, do you know why you like the taste of certain things and maybe why you really don't like the taste of others? Well, to figure out what kind of taster you are, mixologist Kim Hasarud is here to show us how it works. And you have a big, big, big event coming up. Tell I us do. What it is. Oh my gosh, it's Arizona Cocktail Week. It starts this Saturday at 11 a.m. There's so much going on that I can't possibly get everything in <laughs> in this TV segment. Wow. So I'm going to talk about one seminar I'm doing called okay. The Science Behind How You Drink and uh, drink and eat. Okay. This happens on Monday from 1230 to 130. Now, some people love gin martini, some people hate it. You know, some people like cilantro and other people mm -hmm. don't like it. But we can uh, track physiologically why that reason is. There's three kinds of tasters. There's a hyper taster, a normal taster, and a tolerant taster. A hyper tasters are those really picky eaters, you know, who like want everything yeah. on the side. Yeah. Um, and they actually might like a gin martini because they can actually pick a lot of those aromatics. Versus someone on the opposite end of the spectrum, a, a tolerant taster likes the big flavor bombs, like oh. the flavored vodkas and so forth. Well, how do you determine that? So I'm going to, this is a, this is a PTC strip, and it okay. actually determines whether you are sensitive to phenylthiocarbamide. And it also has a direct correlation with the number of taste buds on your tongue. So what I want you to do is okay. I want you to take this and I want you to put it on the center of your tongue and I want you to tell me what you experience. Just give it a, like, a good five seconds. Either if, for hyper tasters, it's an immediate reaction. Mm -hmm. Like they actually think uh, it's very vile and extremely uh -huh. bitter. Mm -hmm. uh, if it just tastes like a piece of paper, mm -hmm. it might mean you're a tolerant taster. Okay. okay. So tolerant tasters, they really like, uh, they don't have a whole lot of sensitivity to spicy foods. So you really might like chocolate and you like spicy foods and you like all kinds of mm -hmm. flavor bombs like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you I, told me to yeah. just take it on my tongue because <laughs> I almost swallowed yeah, it because yeah, we eat here so much. You can much. take it out. <laughs> <laughs> on there. Okay. Yeah, but so. there's there's a lot going on. This is just one of the seminars. Yeah, we I can. I didn't taste anything. Yeah, so I, I can I, try I'm actually, anything. Yeah, that's about 20% of the population are tolerant tasters. All right. Well, yeah. I what I love about this event and and what you and I were, were talking about prior mm -hmm. uh, to this segment is. This has only been around for three years, and you've doubled in size. We've doubled already. in size, and we're definitely heading in the same trajectory. And there's definitely something for everybody, whether you are, you know, a novice bartender mm -hmm. or whether you like going out and spending happy hour with friends. We have seminars ranging from tiki to whiskey to rum to awesome. garnishes. Um, so there's definitely something for everybody. And understanding our palate is so important when we're mm -hmm. pairing wines or when we're pairing a drink with a particular meal. It's so important to know what you like. Oh, absolutely. And I think there's, there's so much more to explore. And I think this gives really a good opportunity. It's a learning experience okay. because you could really learn a lot more about spirits and what you're drinking. Okay, so show me a little bit of what, what people will learn at this, at one of the, uh, one of the events. Mm -hmm. and, and this is going on at the Sands? At the Sands building at the Hotel Valley Ho. Okay. The main events happen on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. On okay. Monday, we have a really cool event called the Artisanal Spirit Cocktail Market. From one to four, it's kind of like a farmer's market, but nice. for the cocktail lover, so a lot uh -huh. of boutique spirits. And you can get in with the $10 wristband. So just put the wristband on. Wristband on, yeah, an ID check and you're good to go and get you into some of the events. Also throughout the week, uh, we have about 70 partnered restaurants and bars. So you can get into any of those and get 50% off a cocktail. Well, that's great. And it, it's, you know, we're going to get a little mm. education behind Absolutely. why perhaps we like what we like. Well, I tell you, any trends going on right now that you're seeing? You know, tiki. We actually have a whole underlying tiki theme. So we're doing a tiki Perfect. seminar. Uh, our last singer standing competition uh, definitely has a tiki element to it. Martin Kate from San Francisco is going to be doing a Smuggler's Cove pop-up that's a really well-known tiki bar out well, in San Well, I tell you Francisco. what, the third annual, this is just the beginning for Arizona <laughs> Cocktail Week. It keeps growing and growing, so you can get a wristband, you can come out, you can try all of the different things, take a part of the, be a part of some of the seminars. What kind of taster do you think you are, Terry? Well, actually, um, Kim said, what am I? What am I, Kim? A tolerant taster. A tolerant taster? A tolerant taster? Well, yeah. You know what? Put this on Put your that tongue. on your tongue. For yeah, right. don't, don't swallow it. Don't, swallow okay. it. Thanks for don't that. eat it. Don't eat it. Okay. You're so used to eating on this show. We have all the information about Arizona Cocktail Week on you our website, anything? sonoraliving.com. Okay. All right. Nope. Yeah. All right. Okay. You're a tolerant taster. There you right. go. I, I thought that meant you'd just drink anything. <laughs> it does mean that. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Uh -oh. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for having me And thank me you on. guys for joining us. Don't forget to get your wristband and yeah. be a part of the third annual Arizona Cocktail Week. I was tolerant too, which oh, surprised really? me. <laughs>